Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Um, another review. This one's another food review, and it is. Walker's Taste Icons Supporting Local Restaurants Fish and Chips Flavour Potato Crisps It's inspired by the Weatherby Whaler and What's that? For those who don't know And if you have this pack um, you can get £5 off your local restaurants which is not a really good thing because this pack of the crisps goes out of date tomorrow so I thought I'd get this review done in the meantime be nice and quick and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, stuff out the pack of the crisp right here. It's suitable for vegetarians with no added MSG, no artificial colours or preservatives. That's a good thing. Um, and it also tells you how to claim five pounds off at your local restaurant. What you must do is you must purchase a promotional pack and visit walkers.co.uk forward slash local. You must enter your details starting and code starting GB on this pack found in the best before box. There. Uh, you must select the restaurant near you and present your voucher in restaurant or quote voucher code if ordering by phone. Um, yeah, it's valid until the 15th of February 2022 and all that box. A minimum spend of £20, excluding alcohol to redeem voucher. Just also throw that one in there. Okay, um, but yeah, <clears throat> that's all the blurb of the way. But yeah, this is Fish and Chips Flavour Walkers, inspired by the Weatherby Whaler. Nice little look at that. And there's a bit more blurb on the back that says, from the Weatherby Whaler, a message from the Murphy family who run the Weatherby Whaler. They say that they believe that good, honest British food brings people together. Grown from humble beginnings over 50 years ago as a single shop, today the Weatherby Whaler family still put our hearts and souls into every portion of fish and chips. Uh, surely it should be their hearts and souls? Are they literally rip leaving the souls from our body and ripping our hearts out and putting it in fish and chips? Because as far as this is concerned, they are. Um, Dodgy bastards, don't like you guys. But yeah, so yeah, they're putting hearts and souls into every portion of fish and chips, sustainably sourcing the best ingredients cooked in our traditional way. Obviously, sort of using voodoo to do it, they're using souls and hearts. Not how I'd do it, I'd personally, I'd just go to like Iceland and get some Harry Ramsden shit or get some Captain Bird's Eye shit throw it in the oven for about like half an hour and should be done better but yeah let's get it out the packet let's open it up let's have a sniff and then we'll have a taste oh god it smells like pure fish and chippy salt and vinegar yeah it the smell is fucking immense it really is I mean, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks of that time I went to Scarborough that time, and I went to that. In fact, no, it was Whippy. There was like a chippy on the hill. There was a massive queue out the door, and all the fish and chips was done in goose fat, and it was fucking amazing. Just the smell of this takes me back. It really does take me back, and I like that. So yeah. Yeah, I'm getting all reminiscing now, so if I start crying in the video and think, oh, I want to go back to Whippy, you know why. So yeah, we know what it looks like, we know what it smells like. So what about the taste? Will it be Walker's Fish and Chips by Weatherby Whaler? Or will it be Walker's Fish and Chips by Weatherby Failure? There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up and up your bottoms. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's a unique one. That is very unique. I mean, it tastes like chips with loads of salt and vinegar on first. And then you get an aftertaste of cod. Cod! 
as Lorne Armstrong would say. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah. So yeah, how would I describe it? Salt and vinegar flavoured chips, but well, fish uh, chips with lots of salt and vinegar on it with an aftertaste of cod. I wasn't expecting much from this. I expected these to be fucking shit if I'm gonna be honest. But I'm genuinely impressed. So um just don't know, it's obviously just a short review. It's not like a bad Christmas. But uh yeah. I really like these. I'd give these an uh, I give these an eye out of These are really good. Really good and good. I hope you've enjoyed this video in the meantime. Because I've got another one to come very shortly. It's a uh, Walker's Thai Green Curry thing. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Have a great evening. Shall see you very soon. Take care everyone. Sign out. All right.